And to the coastal city of Mombasa, the 54 billion shilling Dongo Kundu bypass that connects Mombasa and Kuala counties has already started registering gains even before its completion. Mm -hmm. According to the Deputy Chief of Staff in charge of performance and delivery management, Elio Dawalo, the road which is 98% complete has seen the Likoni crossing channel decongested with free flow of traffic to the southern coast. Oalo called on investors to take advantage of the mega infrastructural projects the government is implementing at the coast by boosting their investments. And Buru is on the coastal beats. Early morning, the entourage led by the Deputy Chief of Staff, Elio Dawalo, began the tour of the projects in Mombasa County at the 1.5 billion shillings Liwatoni fishing complex, inspecting the project before heading to the 54 billion shillings Dongokundu bypass. It was at the Dongokundu bypass that Owalo noted that the Mombasa to Kuala bypass, which is 98% complete, has started registering some gains. To begin with, in terms of attendant benefits, it's going to facilitate easier access from the mainland to the airport. It will also facilitate faster connectivity from the SGR terminus into the town, and it will reduce congestion at uh, the Likoni ferry for those connecting from Mombasa to Kwale because now you can use the bypass to connect from Mombasa to Kwale and cumulatively it will reduce the overcrowding of traffic within Mombasa town. It was at the 40 billion shillings Mombasa Special Economic Zone Development Project where the Deputy Chief of Staff in charge of performance and delivery management reiterated that the government has compensated residents affected by the putting up of the mega infrastructure and are scoring the benefits which include paving the way for new investors. I'm happy to report that one of the fundamental milestones that we have realized within the Special Economic Zone so far is to ensure that compensation for those who are displaced is at 90% completion rate. The remaining 10% will be sorted out by KPA in the next one week. Yeah? There are certain small, small challenges which are not insurmountable, so all of those payments should be settled within the next one week. The government has put incentives to attract more investors, promising them a conducive environment to do business. We have got tax rebates by way of income tax, corporate tax and even excise tax. So we, I want to assure prospective investors that the government will do its best to ensure that we have got a conducive and enabling environment for investors to deploy within, their, within this um, fa facility. And we are ready and willing, working together with all local leaders to create that necessary ecosystem. The entourage also visited Mombasa Southern Bypass Highway, the 7 billion shilling nearly affordable housing project, and the 25 billion shilling Mombasa Malindi dual carriageway. Owalo was accompanied by Gender and Affirmative Action Principal Secretary Anne Wangombe, Coast Regional Commissioner Roda Onyancha, Mombasa County Commissioner Mohamed Nur and Sherry Ariko, and Head of the Government Delivery Unit Lee Kionze. The Deputy Chief of Staff will tomorrow hold a stakeholders engagement forum at the Kenya School of Government. For Prime Edition from Mombasa County, I am Anne Buru.